Hello guys and welcome back to Copper Park Farm. Now then, I've been on here for a while now and uh, well, I saved the game and then came back on. But as you can see here, rain or hailstones. Um, not the nicest stuff so combining wise, I haven't actually done any combining whilst I've been on here. So I am actually just going to keep it here. Not gonna bother doing anything with it. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna be making some changes in this video. Um, as you probably guessed, I had Case Magnum. Now, as you probably already know, I'm not a huge Case fan. I mean, they're nice tractors, but I prefer something like a New Holland. And that is what I think I'm gonna ha get. Um, basically, I'm thinking of selling all of the round bale stuff, so like just the, just the baler and the wrapper. Um, I think I only bought that last episode though. Um, may have done, I don't know. Um, and also sell the case magnum 380 CVT. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we're selling this because I'm going to be getting a new Holland tractor, one that I've wanted for a while now. It's it's a very nice tractor. Let's put it that way. I really like using it. I don't I don't think I've ever used it in series before or anything. So yeah, can be getting that. So let's start off with the selling. So sell the case, my friend. Sell the round baler. Sell. What else should we sell? Selling the wrapper. There we go. And I think that's it. Um, and you may be thinking, why am I selling the round baler equipment? I don't. I don't think I've already said. But the Crone Ultima, that baler in the Giants mod contest, I'm going to be getting that. Basically, how it's going to work is grass, hay, silage, bales, those kind of bales. We're going to be done in the round baler and probably try to wrap them, like wrap a couple of grass bales and make silage bales. But the straw bales, because there'll probably be a higher number of them, are going to use the square baler. Um, cause as you can see, I've got a huge stack of square bales and I don't really want to change over to round bales for straw. Uh, well, probably guess why. Um, I kind of prefer these for straw anyway. So that's what's going to be happening. I'm going to try and use up all of these grass bales and hay bales. Are they hay bales as well? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that is how it's going to work. Now, in order for me to get some of that equipment, like I said, I had to sell it, sell some of the things. Um, but I am going to be getting it delivered up at the farm as well. But in order for me to be able to get this equipment, I'm going to have to make money back. Uh, because, I don't know, it could leave us with not little, not much money. And I don't think um, the barley is at the best of prices. In fact, it seems like it is. Um, but... I am going to just be leaving that in the field. There's no point in trying to do anything with it now. I mean, it's going to be drenched. It's going to... Although this isn't rain, I'm pretty sure it does and ruin the crop or something. Um, so I'm going to have to leave this dry out in a day or two. And then I think there should be possibly more rain on. Nope. Uh, well, Thursday, Friday, dry out. Saturday, I can harvest. So, yeah, that's how that's going to be working. Now, what I have to do is to buy a tractor, a smart tracks. I have to buy the baler, but this baler has got to have these pallets. So you have net rolls, so I'm going to buy two of each, so I'm just going to keep them at the Five by three of each, and then 
I can put one pallet in already. So yeah. Um and I've also found a telehandler which I think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this one. This is JCB five three six seventy I agree. Because it is if you've seen where is it? Where is it? I've seen this one. I can't really imagine this going like, into a field stacking bales or anything, like putting them on trailer. This I'm just gonna use it for like mucking out and like yard stuff. The other one, well, the new JCB, is going to be the one that I'm going to move about quite often. Um, and I believe it's one mile an hour faster. So it's quite good. Uh, anyway, I'll just leave this here. You can't do anything with it. Um, so yeah, have that there. Um... And there's also another thing. I have to have a trailer to put those pallets on. So what I think I'm going to do, or what I am going to do, I'm going to buy low trail trailer. Here we go. Put the pallets on the low trail trailer. And turn behind this. Just take it all to the main like the cattle farm. Um so yeah. And do I own any pallet fox? Yeah. Ooh. Uh sell it because I think I am pretty sure I have a mod. Some better pallet fox. No, it turns out I don't. Um anyway, huh. Oh, we'll have to buy them again then. So, here we go. I am actually going to move the baler out of the way first. Bring it up here because I can see it getting in the way of me loading and stuff like that. So I'll leave that there. Um, I'll have to load up these pallets onto the trailer. Ooh. Now, I have an idea of what I can do with these pallets. I'm pretty sure I have like a wool rack. Yeah, here we go. Where I can put pallets on it. So I'll put like a net and then silo trap. So it kind of makes it a bit easier. So I'll pop that up at this farm. Slide to the right, it's about here. Um, so pop this here, because then also it's got like a back to it where it can, nothing can fall out. So gotta be careful of where I which, kind of orientation I place it at. Hang on, I'll just be right back. So then. Um, but uh, right, I was in the process of placing that down, wasn't I? Right. So yeah, uh, I have to be careful in which orientation I place this so I can actually put the pallets on. Right. I don't actually know where <laughs> I should place it. Uh, there. Yeah, that that'll be fine. Uh, I'm sure it will do. Yeah, right then. It's only 200 quid as well. That's, uh, I don't know, is that cheaper than one of these pallets of. Yeah. These pallets are actually pretty expensive. 1200 quid for a pallet of silo drop. I don't know, is that cheap or not? Because we ha never had to, like, buy the silage wrap or anything. It's always just come on the baler. Like it's never ending supply. Just well, it's kinda nice 
but then it's not so then you got realism which I like well try to be I try to be as realistic as I can if I could do something more realistic I would try um, get that all. Right. Not like good with these pile of fox. Don't use them often. Palletized loads I'm not a huge fan of. Keep them as straight as possible. Could possibly make it easier for loading. I mean, uh, I, I don't know if these pallets actually disappear if you've got if uh, if you've used up all the wrap from it. I don't know if they just disappear or not, or if you can sell them. Uh, sell a pallet, empty pallet, it would be. Sultan thing. Um, right. How about if I try to put it on at this end? Will that make a difference? Hope it does actually. just ruins the day. That um right. Oh, I we could probably make a huge mess of this. Could do something like a pickup truck just to pull this trailer. Because the Land Rover used to like tip up at the front. Maybe if I did get the bog standard pickup. one or something. Suit the rest of the equipment I own. Actually, how much are these pickups? Sixty thousand pounds. What colours? All the box standard colours. Hmm. I could get one. Or have I got any mod pickups? Yes, I have. I shouldn't be in there. Um. Get any colour in that. I think that's a big American one now. Just kind of prefer. Oh yeah. Decisions. What should we do? Why not? Because that kind of means as well that I can place stuff in the bed of it. So if I just need to take one pallet down to the field or something. You just take a pallet down. Don't have to take the telehandler down as well. Um, right, I reckon 
unlock that load. Oh, big mistake doing this. Right, here we go. Because I've unlocked that load, that kind of means that they'll slide about a tiny bit. So I can push them out the way. Well, not out the way, but you get what I mean. That's not... What are these? Are these T6s? Yeah. What's that? T5. T4. T5. T6. Baylor. Plow. Telehandler. That you can walk in. Anyway. Stop messing about and we'll get on with some proper work. The only issue is that middle part there. I may have to slip one of these in the bed of the truck. If it'll fit. And I hope it will. Yeah, because that middle bit there, I can't really put pallets on it. Because it's caught on the wheel arch. Stick one at the back and then, yeah. Put one in the bed. I didn't want it to do that. I want, I want to push. There we go. Tiny bit of a mess of that. And it's a bit risky me going down the road with this on the front as well. I can see it going horribly wrong and messing up the road or doing something like that. But anyway, what I need to do, lock the load, disconnect, that down, hopefully I can put this in the back. Hopefully it will fit. Disappointing if it doesn't. Yeah, it does actually. Oh, that's good. That's quite nice, isn't that? Alright then. Well, it does slide about a bit though. Be careful of that. Oh well, uh, there's a load locked. Yep. Yeah. Stuck on four wheel drive, could do with it. I think I'll get everything to follow this down the road. Make more sense. I can control. I'd rather be in control of this. And something like the tractor. Oh, no, that's the last thing I wanted. That. Control F. Following, should be following. Just hope I can get this to follow. Gone. Let's go. Beacon on that. Should be. There we 
we go. Alright, let's go down the road. I've never actually really driven this truck. I've driven about like outside the cab, but I don't drive it inside the cab often. I drive everything outside the cab, I think. I don't often go inside. Baylor going to cause an accident on this corner. Yep. Alright, that should be following that fine. In a way, I prefer towing using this truck because it's lower to the ground. Therefore, that hitch is lower. So it's not like bringing up that front wheel on that wheel there. Not bringing that up above the road much. Right, that telehandle is stuck. Um, right, let's go down the road. I prefer using this on the road as well. A bit easier to control. It's also got crab steer and things like that which I really am a fan of crab steer oh, I'd actually like to go down the road in crab steer control F right then nice that these pallets actually do fit in the bed of this truck. It does mean the wool pallets should hopefully fit in as well. And then I can just sell them separately. I either write any off by like moving it away from the fill trigger. It is kind of annoying that uh, like when you, you knock the trigger slightly and the pallet moves and it just won't fill up anymore I don't think. Pretty sure that's how it works. Right, I need this trailer parked down here somewhere. Bobby, there. Shift F. It should be that not following it anymore. past it. Here we go. Don't want to reverse. Let's go forward. It's a nice baler this is. It is quite a big baler though. Although it's nice, it's massive. Imagine this being quite heavy as well. Why is that doing that? I want that trailing along the floor. also has a camera so I can see so actually I wish it had like this camera on that screen down there very nice it did right. JCB will well, should make it no to mess itself up or something is it or isn't it no it's not quite nice um Right then. That's not following me anymore, so I'll drive this down. The New Holland with tracks. I honestly love this tractor. Really nice tractor. Leave that there and jump into here and we'll start loading up my new pallet holder. Does that drag it down? Does that drag the pallet down? I'm not. Pity it raining. Anyway, that'd be somewhere nice for the pallets to be kept. 
I'll put the net on the top, I think. Or should I? Yeah. Makes sense to. So if it was a well, heavier stuff at the bottom, I'm judging that netting is heavier. Well, sorry, not the netting heavier. The silage wrap is heavier than the net. It's just a big lump of plastic. Also, the reach on this is unbelievable. I'm on a tilt. There we go. Alright. Once I've done this, it'll be the end of the episode. And uh, sorry if it's been a tad boring. Um, I didn't actually really expect it to rain, but we have got this out of the way anyway. Because this would have happened no matter what. We're buying all of this at some point. Push off edge. If I can get it on the rack as straight as possible, it'll be easier to pick up at a later point. So hopefully next episode will be a bit more enjoyable for you guys. I mean, hopefully something else to do. May do some grass next episode. Uh, do the combine in another episode, I think. Try out the new baler. grass I will wrap the bales I'll do some wraps bales so it may make sense if I load up something where well I can definitely well by fact I got an idea keep that pallet in the back of that pickup because I can fill up the side of the baler with the pallet of this or something a lot of this so 
think that brings us to the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, sorry if it's been a tiny bit boring for you guys. Uh, but that would have been happening at some point anyway, selling equipment and getting some more. So, yep. Um, oh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video as it really does help. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Uh, so, goodbye. Also, top right hand corner, that little eye symbol. Uh, you may be used to it by now. Uh, if you've seen it on other people's videos and my videos, uh, you check out another one of my videos. Um, I'll, f I'll put one on there um, that may interest you. <laughs> so, like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.